Opposition leader Rayla Odinga has sent out invitations to his swearing-in scheduled to take place on Jamori Day. The invitation posted on NASA's Telegram channel on Friday, states the swearing-in will take place on December 12, 2017. The venue of the inauguration, however, has not been disclosed. Guests will also be vetted before gracing the controversial ceremony. Rayla Oding is swearing and scheduled to take place on Jamori Day. Photo, courtesy, the judiciary stated on Friday that it had not received any formal communication from the National Super Alliance, NASA, about the inauguration. The judiciary has not been notified on the inauguration ceremony planned by the opposition party, said Chief Registrar of the Judiciary Ann Amati. M. Zamati spoke at Pride in Hotel on Friday. Police dispersed a crowd at Rayla's rally along Manyanja Road, Eastlands, on Tuesday afternoon after the announcement of his inauguration. I will be sworn as president on Jamori Day, I am the legitimate president, said Rayla. He also said that he did not recognize the August 8 and October 26, 2017 elections conducted by EBG, insisting they were shambolic. The NASA leader and his entourage were on their way to Jacaranda Grounds in Nairobi's Mbakazi area for the planned memorial service for 27 supporters killed during election protests. NASA moved its agitation plans for electoral reform a notch higher on Friday by naming a team to run the People's Assembly National Steering Committee. The six-member team led by fire economist Dr. David Ndi will guide and facilitate various programs that will be center of NASA's agenda amongst other duties, according to former Kakunga Senator Boney Kalwal. The task force will also look into the systemic governance weaknesses that have precipitated the unfolding political impasse, says the alliance. The team comprises, Judy Sijani, Hamida Kibwana, Dr. Mutakakangu, Adarangwan, Koya Damato Lakina and former East African Legislative Assembly MP Peter Mathuki. Also read, what jubilee should prioritize to ensure peace and prosperity making the announcement, Dr. Kalwal condemned the brutality meted on supporters by police saying that it had stop immediately. Kalwal said that the jubilee government cannot be allowed to continue with its dictatorship saying NASA will continue fighting for democracy and rights of citizens. Kalwal was flanked by former Macaco's Senator Johnston Muthama and other opposition leaders at the Aka Akinya offices, Nairobi. Opposition leader Rayla Odinga said in October the People's Assembly would be a broad-based forum consisting of elected leaders and the leadership of other sectors of society in particular workers, civil society, religious leaders, women, youth and economic interest groups, 